Over in the pages of recent Marvel comics, readers have seen the House of Ideas re-explore the ultimate line of titles. Thankfully, instead of opting into new versions of existing series, Marvel has decided to let the villainous Maker launch the new Ultimate Universe with Ultimate Invasion. While the Maker attempted to circumvent several heroic origins, his attempts were ultimately unsuccessful as a brand new team of heroes rose up in the final chapter of Ultimate Invasion. My name is Arico Braddock, and today, let's go ahead and explore the pages of Ultimate Universe to witness the birth of a brand new superhero team. Before we get deeper into the video, I want to encourage you to consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the like button over on this video. The Spoils of Victory After the world-shaking conclusion of Ultimate Invasion, a new team of heroes bands together to save the future. From mastermind Jonathan Hickman and superstar artist Stefano Caselli, don't miss out on this foundational issue for the new line of Ultimate Comics. Ultimate Universe Issue 1 is still written over from Jonathan Hickman, featuring art from Stefano Caselli. We have colors from David Curiel, letters from VC's Joe Caramagna, and the cover for Ultimate Universe is coming in over from Brian Hitch and Alex Sinclair. Really love some of the design over for this cover, especially with the logo. I also think that this team of ultimate characters introduced from the background of Ultimate Invasion, as well as some heroes from this issue are fascinating. We have the ultimate Thor, Tony Stark as Iron Lad, Sif, Captain America, and Reed Richards as Doctor Doom. I want to extend a quick thank you over to Adventures in Poor Taste and preview this really beautiful art coming in for the issue from Stefano Caselli. Over on this page, we get to see a team of our brand new Ultimate characters attempt to rescue Thor over from his cell in Asgard. Really watching our team slowly come together and assemble over the course of Ultimate Universe is a ton of fun, especially because characters like Tony Stark as the Iron Lad as well as Reed are so new over to this Ultimate Universe continuity. It's also interesting to see how Sif makes an appearance over on this issue. At first, she appears as an adversary, but I think, in truth, her role within the comic book issue is a lot more complicated than that. And it seems like Jonathan Hickman is really allowing these interesting story scenarios to kind of be explored over on their own, as opposed to having a really robotic script over in this tale. Another really interesting thing to mention across Ultimate Universe 2 is this is a really wordy script over for Jonathan Hickman. I was a little bit dismayed over on his script for Gods, but I think this issue of Ultimate Universe does a fantastic job utilizing a lot of words, a lot of prose over on the page that end up introducing these really fascinating scenarios with the context they deserve instead of, I think, weighing the script down. This page is a great example of that, as the character of Sif is really reacting to the fact that Odin is outside of his cell here and being really aggressive towards trying to get his hammer over on the comic book page. I think Stefano Caselli has a great working relationship with Jonathan Hickman, crafted over years of comic book storytelling, but it's all leading up to this final page where Stefano Caselli is able to dedicate a little bit more page real estate over to the character of Ultimate Thor. Ultimate Thor has so many great character moments across Ultimate Invasion, and while I do wish he was a little bit more different as opposed to his 616 counterpart, I still think there's some fascinating elements over to his character that should make it interesting to see him interacting with the rest of the Ultimate Universe. I also like the fact that our team was able to work together so closely across this issue in some of the later scenes here. The way that they start working together to rescue the character of Captain America was really compelling, and I hope to see followed up on in a future Ultimate Universe comic book. Also, getting to see some of these elements later on in the issue where Sif ended up actually joining the team and letting her guard down, I think introduces a great character arc over for this issue. However, I think Ultimate Universe got significantly darker when we were introduced to some of the secret rulers of the world 
later on in the comic book series, they actually stage an assault against this really new line of ultimate characters that's going to have some permanent damage wherever these characters show up next. Jonathan Hickman actually dove into some of the political ramifications over for the series. However, I do want to point a little bit more criticism towards the script at a very late sequence in the comic book page here. I thought it was really detracting how Jonathan Hickman ended up using newscasters to set a little more of the political tension. I feel like there's a better way to write a lot of dialogue across a comic book issue as opposed to just sticking it with a ton of newscaster you know, narration alongside talking heads. Thankfully, though, there's at least one other ultimate comic reference during this sequence so it really does feel like there's at least one nugget of something interesting across the marvel universe for readers to discover here also the final panel was written incredibly well over from jonathan hickman and illustrated really nicely over from stefano caselli too i feel like we have a major launching off point over for the next ultimates oriented ultimate comic book series also, one element about this comic book that I really appreciate are the final couple pages. This series is really trying to set up a ton of different Ultimate Comics, and the one introduced in the final pages I think is very subversive and among some of my most anticipated in this line. So at the end of the day here, I thought Ultimate Universe Issue 1 was a fantastic comic book that just did a great job fleshing out some of the character motivations and this interesting new team dynamic of characters. Plus, we were even reintroduced to some existing characters that are just a little bit different as well, with people like Ultimate Thor and Captain America too. I want to know from you, were you as engaged with this issue as I was? What did you think about Jonathan Hickman's larger scope analyzing new comic books, setting up all these disparate Ultimate titles and are you intrigued to see where these characters show up next in the Ultimate Universe? Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for coming to check out our review over on Ultimate Universe Issue 1. And we'll be back to see where this series and Iron Lad are headed next. Thanks so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.